Hi, I'm Bill Worrell, and in this lesson, we're continuing a series called The Basics. In this lesson, we'll talk about how to hold a pick and how to choose a pick. To start, we'll hold our hand out and curl the fingers like so. You'll notice that our fingers have three sections. One, two, three. We want to place the pick over the first section called the distal phalanx, if you're interested. Place the pick down and drop your thumb on top. Now the trick is finding where to place the point of the pick. We want the point of the pick to be perpendicular to the string, like this. If we point it too far out, we'll have to lift our arm too high to achieve this. If we point it too far in, it won't be able to reach the strings. Right about there's good for me. Keep a nice firm grip, but don't squeeze too hard. Now, you'll see players hold them a variety of ways, but I found this is the most common and it is a great starting point. There are different picks suited to different styles of playing. Traditionally, you have light, medium, and heavy, although there are now many in-betweens with smaller sizes, larger sizes, and even just weird shapes. These are all personal preference and definitely feel free to experiment. For my playing, I found these Dunlop Flex Picks to be great, at least on electric guitar. The smaller size and point allow me to pick fast passages way more efficiently, and I've used them for practically all styles of music. When playing acoustic, I opt for these standard size medium picks in celluloid. I think the lighter pick sounds less rigid, especially when recording, and I think it works especially well when strumming. Both Fender and Dunlop make versions of these picks, so take your pick. If you want to try something really unique, I recently met the owner of this pick company, Anatomy of Sound, and he gave me these to try out. The third dimensionality that they highlight is this extra bevel in the shape of a um, booty. You can visit their website at anatomyofsound.com to find out more about them. My suggestion is to start with a basic pick like a Tortex or Celluloid pick. See which one you like better. With time, you'll find if you want something heavier or lighter, or if you prefer one material over another. Okay, that's all for now. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next video.